Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show. Your best friend, science, astronomy, and telescopes. Another clear night at the Bordeaux 2 gray zone. Lots of mosquitoes. And uh, it's actually about 1 a.m., which is really late. I probably could have came out two hours ago, but uh, I was talking to my brother about uh, issues of life and politics and the current situation of the world. So that probably took a good two hours. Yeah, practically uh, 12.58 a.m. So kind of late to start and I'm a little tired. I don't know, I might only stay up an hour. Today we are going to look at, we do M72, M73 and M30. Show you what's going on there. So I'm gonna turn on Star Sense and let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna start with M72. And as you can see, my telescope is pointing around 42, 45 degrees north-ish, so it's not too far, but I know some of you guys maybe that live even north, uh, some parts, this might be really low in the sky. I can see it right away in a really, really low power. So let's bump up the power to a 13 angler, which is kind of like a medium power. Because it is kind of faint, even in this size telescope, in this dark type of sky. Uh, remember too, I am using two lights, and even though they're LED white lights, and then I color them like an orange, it's not the best to be observing with. You know, M72, even with, I bumped up the power, still kind of dim. Again, it could be these lights are not letting me get dark adaptive. Let's bump up the power even more. Okay, we are going to put a 6.7 ultra wide with an 84 degree field of view. And this is kind of medium high, I would say, power. So let's see what we see now. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised, guys. I don't know if it's the seeing today, but even at this power, it still looks like a really dim fuzzball. How do you see um, M72 in your skies and with your telescope? Is it barely observable? Like it's a really dim, uh, so it's kind of surprised. I thought before, I could see it much better, but I guess I'm not sure. Maybe because the lights are too bright. And I have read, you know, on the forums too, using an LED white, and even though you put cellophane, red, or color it like that, it's actually worse. But, um, you know, I chose that way because I need you guys to kind of see something on the video. Oh, that was kind of cool. I just saw another meteor, like, just go there okay let's move on to m73 i think it's only about five degrees away uh, these mosquitoes are killers i do see something very small in a 38 millimeter which is not really high power so let's put in the 13 nagler kind of see maybe like four maybe five stars uh, let me bump up the power kind of looks like in a triangle form is that what you guys see 6.7 ultra wide it's just closer um, but it looks like it's about four stars um, it's a really small cluster but, you know, give it a shot because I guess if you want to get it off your list type of thing, and it's practically very close, like five degrees away uh, from M72 globular cluster. It's not bad. It looks like a kind of like a triangle thing, but it's not so interesting either. So let's now go to the Saturn Nebula. And it's pretty close too. I would say it's roughly about 10 degrees from M73. 
altogether from M72 is probably 15 degrees or something, so it's not far. You might as well look at all three. So the Saturn Nebula is kind of what the name suggests. Uh, I still left it in the 6.7 ultra wide. I didn't even go down to low power and I see it. So it kind of resembles um, like a like Saturn, but bloaty, like it's not crystal clear, like it's a little bit defocused. That's probably going to be about the biggest power I can do on this guy or it's going to move too fast. I don't think it's so interesting in the fact it's kind of small. It, it's kind of looks like a bloated Saturn, but really it's not so interesting. But again, I think you guys should try to view it. All three items are in the same neighborhood. So why not give it a shot? Let me try to put a narrow band filter. I believe this is narrow band. Yeah. And see if there's any enhancement at all. So it is actually, actually, it looks like it's a bit brighter with the filter, but again, no structure. It's just a little puff ball and it's very small. Um, you know, I'm at pretty high power. I mean, not extreme high power, but decent high power. And uh, again, there's no, it's not like you're looking at, at a, it's sometimes I would say it's not as defined as some other nicer uh, nebulas out there. Uh, it's kind of just like a out of focus Saturn um, and no features. So I don't think it's the, these three things are not the best, but uh, we are looking at this constantly. I don't know if you could see how low I'm pointing the telescope. I would say, Again, if you guys live in very north latitudes, this might get a little low, M30. Oh, man, the mosquitoes have just bit me and it just, in the summer, I don't know. It's hard to, uh, you got the mosquitoes and the winter is cold. Um, never seems to be perfect, um, always something. But um, as you can see, I don't know, it might be at about 30 degrees kind of pointing. So you can kind of get an idea. You take out the ride gel finder. I don't need it anymore. The ride gel finder is all dude up anyway. Like I can't even see through it. So I'm just going to put it down. I'm thinking I'm just going to start with the Nagler. And then let's see what happens. But it's actually not too bad. It's not so bright, but it's not so dim. So I, I caught it with the Nagler 13. And it, it looks pretty impressive. You know, I could see many, many, you know, thousands of stars. So let me bump up the power to uh, 6.7. You know, before I do that, why don't I put the 38 millimeter? I want to see, can I easily see it in a low 38 millimeter? And maybe you guys would like to know that too. If you're starting really low, um, is it easy? Okay, with a 38 millimeter, the field is fairly big, but it is kind of tiny in a 38 millimeter. So um, maybe for this one, I would say if you have a 25 millimeter, uh, maybe try the 25 first, so it kind of you can kind of see it more definite. Because I, I'm thinking, if you guys are in a Bordel four or worse skies. The, the globular cluster might actually look like it's just a starlight or like a, a star. But in the 13, it was easy to see. Yeah, in a 6.7 ultra wide, you know, I am closer. Again, it's not the biggest and brightest globular, but I think it's still worth a look. So take a look at it. And it's not too, not too bad today. And that's going to be it, guys. So um, look at all these flies. So that's it for this video. Even if it's not exciting, take a look at it because not everything in outer space is going to be a mind-blowing experience. But again, you might want to just cross it off the list. You've seen it. That's great. That's our three objects for today. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Um, if you know anybody getting in the hobby, please share my channel. And if you're on the forums, you know, and somebody asked about... Uh, this type of thing or any video I have if you wouldn't mind sharing that that'd be great so, and I also have members video or once a month I post a video just for them it doesn't go on the 
regular channel. There's only one video that did go on both, but they heard about it much sooner than the regular channel people did. And there we go. Why not you? Why not me?